Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Karen. I'm a lefty who loves fountain pens, inks, journaling, writing, hobonichi, and all of that good stuff. So if you like those kinds of content, please subscribe and head over to my channel for more. So in today's video, I will be talking about my holy grail pen. It's the holy grail pen I never knew I needed. So... I have a whole video dedicated to this wonderful sailor fountain pen that, you know, this is not something in my radar, obviously. Um, sailor comes out with a lot of limited special edition pens. It's not something that I can just, you know, easily collect. Um, unlike, let's say, a Jin Hao, which has really, really, really good price points. So today I will be talking about my holy grail pen and these two inks that i have gotten not brand new but they are from the fountain pen palenque someone's quote unquote trash can be your treasure okay so for this pen i got this brand new um, mainly because the one that was being sold in the fountain pen palenque the seller uh, decided to pull it out or not proceed anymore with selling it but i was able to get this brand new and i think for myself i'm pretty happy that i got this brand new so you know just sharing for your eye candy this is the sailor pro gear slim and this is the roco blue sky and a bit of background i once worked in roco island in kobe and with my first job, I was assigned there. I really had a lot of memories, core memories, coming from that experience. It was my first job, so I really learned a lot about, you know, work ethic, managerial styles, leadership styles, learning a lot from Japanese colleagues and even Japanese leaders working with them. It really helped me develop my own sense of work ethic. That's why, you know, Rocco Island will always have a special place in my heart. So this one just reminds me of the blue skies in Rocco Island. What I can always remember is that it was really sunny in that part of Kobe. It was always, you know, a really good cloudless weather. So yeah, it has, it's a milky blue with some subtle sparkles. I'm not sure if you can see, but yeah, you can see some sparkles there. It's sparkly enough that, you know, makes it a really good conversation starter, but not glittery enough that it will distract you while you use it, while you're writing. So this one has the, you know, silver trim, which is perfect. I like cool toned trims with my cool toned pens. And it's in my favorite 14 karat gold nib and it's in the extra fine so this part here says a hard extra fine which is good for me because i tend to put more pressure when i write and i really don't like um, flex nibs so this is the perfect combination of extra fine and no flex nib and i've been thinking about what ink to use with this pen and i really decided i've made up my mind that i will only use a partner kobe ink for this one and i'm pretty happy that i was able to get these two inks from the fountain pen palenque so they were being sold at a pretty good price um, it's not being sold here anymore in the Philippines brand new. And if you really want to get this brand new, you may have to go to Japan or get it from a Japanese reseller or a Japanese retailer. Okay, so this is the first ink that I got from the Fountain Pen Palenque. And it was basically the first Kobe ink pen that I saw that was being sold. I immediately snatched it up. So... Just sharing with you, the original owner got this from Scribe. And it's the Kobe Ink Story number 56, Roku Shichi Danka. Let's 
so judging so judging by the color of you know the label it, it's obviously a purple ink and i really don't have a lot of purple inks in my collection i think this is the third purple ink and yeah you can see from the bottle it's really pretty and i can do a quick swatch with you guys i just don't have my ink swatch book right now it's at my parents place but i will just be swatching it here in my homonichi cousin wherein i had a dedicated area for you know inks yeah okay so i'll just do a quick swatch here just below the manila pen show inks that i got let me just move my stuff around and i will be using a cotton swab to you know put a generous swab here gorgeous okay so let's get a cotton swab and then just Okay, so that's it for the first ink that I got. And it's a really pretty purpley lavender color. Um, I think it's going to be a bit too light for my liking. Um, I think this will really go well with broader nibs. So this is the Kobe number 56. Roko Shichidanka. So just to let you know, I'm using my Mont Blanc Le Grand 146 in the oblique medium nib with the permanent black ink. And I really like it for, you know, labeling my inks. Okay, so that's the first ink that I got. It's really pretty. The second one is something that I got a bit more recently. As soon as I saw this, I just had to get it because it is a blue ink. Oh my goodness. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay. So the color is called Hyogo Tsu History Blue. So it's a history blue color. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and it's apparently a pen style exclusive. You can see there, it's a lovely shade of blue. Let's do a swatch of this one. Look at this gorgeous color. And I admit, I have a lot of similarly colored inks, but, you know, because it's Kobe ink, you know, this is something much more um, special for me, I guess. So let's do an ink swatching using the other side of the Q-tip.
right off the bat, you can see that this is definitely more saturated than Kobe 56. It's a really, really deep ocean blue color. Um, reminds me of other blue colors that I have. Let me check. Um, maybe Tsukiyo. But this has um, some pink shimmers here. Or a pink sheen on the edge. If you can see that. Um, maybe a mix of Asagao and Tsukiyo from Pilot. Mm. Pelham blue is something that comes to mind as well. Maybe a bit of blue black, but oh yeah, this one. Tokyo Blue Denim by Robert Oster. It's a deep blue with this one has like red fuchsia sheen. And this one has more pinky, more pinky sheen. And I ah, love it. Can't go wrong with the blue color. So let me just label this Kobe. So just to give you a background, Hyogo is the prefecture or the province with Kobe as its capital. So it's in the central, almost western part of Japan. If you're coming from Tokyo, you'll have to pass by Nagoya and Osaka before reaching Kobe. So Kobe is that area in Japan where it's you know almost on the western side. And Kobe is known to be a port city. So Hyogo Tsu, it's a marine transportation hub that had its beginnings in the Heian period, which was, you know, quite a long time ago. So, you know, the blue here symbolizes, you know, that Kobe is known as a port city. And I've had really the great pleasure of visiting Kobe and, you know, living in Rocco Island 10 years ago so this one is really something that I will probably keep I'm loving the two inks that I got and maybe you can already figure out which ink I will use for my Sailor Pro Gear Slim so that is it you guys for my reveal and you know review of my holy grail pen and the ink that i will be using for my holy grail pen thank you so much if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in my next video bye guys